a very good morning children so this video is on life of man through the stone age chapter number 2 for class 6 history today the topic that i'm going to discuss is beginning of trade now trade as you know what is trade buying and selling of things it means business it means business are you understanding so how did business started okay in the neolithic age that is the main point that we are going to understand today and how this trade started okay now these people already knew about how to grow crops so they had knowledge of agriculture so they had knowledge about agriculture so knowledge of agriculture now do you know what is agriculture means it is growing of crops it means growing of crops so they already had knowledge of agriculture and they also had knowledge how to keep animals that is domestication of animals these two things that you have to remember when we are talking about beginning of trade okay the number 2 is domestication so i am writing d o m e s t i c a t i o n domestication of animals so what is domestication of animals you are keeping or you are raising a small animal to give you milk and milk products even meat you keep boiler chickens in your farm etc today you find boiler chickens no in the bazaar also they are kept in the farm why boiler chickens are kept to give you milk no they the boiler from the boiler chicken what do we get we get meat are in a sharing so for the meat for the milk products okay and milk as well as skin of the animals from the skin of the animals we make clothes boots etc belts etc so for this purpose okay what happened they kept animals so these are the two things you have to understand okay that growing of crops and domestication of animals gave them access food access means surplus basic okay enough food okay to feed their family and also to give to others so instead of giving to others they started the business okay knowledge of agriculture and domestication of animals led no uh, neolithic man with okay more food okay in the form of grains now what is grain grain means anna anna means food anna means food okay so grain means it might be rice it might be wheat it might be barley etc it might be pulses etc it might be legumes etc are you understanding so we are talking about cereal crops we are talking about cereal crops cereal crops means food that we eat like we, we eat roti etc ha huh? aata uh, from the aata roti is made it is from the wheat etc are you understand rice we eat this all okay when they grew crops okay when they became farmers their occupation became farmers okay when they started growing crops they grew not only food for their family but also to sell that food to the people so this started the trade are you understand so however the early man used an old method of exchange called the barter system now today if you want to buy a thing in the bazaar if you want to buy vegetables if you want to buy clothes if you want to buy shoes etc or anything like lipstick etc earrings etc anything even the marks that you are wearing if you want to buy if you get the marks you give, give them what money you give paper currency you give what paper currency like this one no like like this one paper currency you give isn't that so isn't that so this is the paper currency you are buying something from somebody therefore you exchange that thing with the money but in the olden times in the neolithic age okay neolithic man exchanges his product with the other man by exchanging the thing that he does not have like let's take for example okay <coughs> so they use an old method called the barter system C b a r t e r barter system okay or barter trade okay underline that in your book okay barter system or barter trade now what does barter system mean this system was used in early times 
okay long before money was invented money was not invented during this period during the neolithic period okay they did not have knowledge about money they did not have knowledge about coins they did not have knowledge about money so how they used to exchange the products let's take for example okay now let's take for example okay i have okay i have milk I have a milk because I am a dudwala. If I am a dudwala, let's take for example, if I am a dudwala, okay? So, uh, my name is Dipendra sir, okay? And I have milk. Okay? Now, Arsu's sister is there, okay? So, Arsu's sister, A-R-S-U, Arsu's sister is there, okay? She has rice because she grows rice in the field. I don't grow rice in the field. I sell milk. I sell milk because I have got cows. So I will give milk to Arsu and Arsu will give uh, rice to me. This is known as barter system. They do not have any use of money. Are you understanding? So let's read this one. This system was used in early times, long before money was invented. Neolithic man exchange food. Okay? They exchange food, okay? They exchange food, milk, or livestock. Livestock means animals. Okay? They exchange animals also in the olden times for things that he needed the most. Are you understanding? If I'm a dudwala, I, I will not be a farmer. Are you understanding? If I'm a farmer, I cannot, go, I, I cannot be a dudwala, etc. Or a shepherd, etc. Are you understanding? In the olden times, they used to exchange these products with each other. Okay? This is known as barter system started during the Neolithic age. The second one is religious belief. Now, religious belief means what? Okay, believe in religion. Okay, so we are looking at the religious belief. Now we are doing R E L I G I O U S religious beliefs B E L I E F S beliefs okay of faith in the knowledge okay faith in the religion okay the people of the neolithic age were afraid of natural phenomena like okay like thunder lightning flood do you know what is flood flood means access water on the land are you understanding so natural phenomena like thunder lightning flood earthquakes also they they were afraid of this okay natural calamities are you understanding they were confused about this natural calamities that like the rising of the sun why the sun is rising why the sun is setting and the moon why it is coming in during the during the night they were afraid of these things and even the birth of a man or a girl even growth death and natural calamities like earthquakes okay tsunami etc they were afraid of these things so they began to worship these things or objects like the sun like the trees like the moon like the earth like the sky rivers fire etc because they were afraid of these things therefore they worship these things today also you find your father or your grandfather is basically doing namaskar to the sun isn't that so because this kind of okay what we call tradition okay knowledge was passed on from the past are you understanding ceremonies were performed to please them by offering sacrifice so in order to please the sun which is coming rising rising okay in the east in order to please the sun they used to perform sacrifices or pujas etc okay they want wanted to do pujas etc to basically make the make god happy are you understanding so ceremonies were performed to please them by offering sacrifices act of killing animals for praising god was performed at the time and hymns okay now another word is coming here h y m n s hymns okay what is hymn mean okay a song it is a song of praise to god it is a song a song of okay praise p r a i S E praise to God because they wanted to please the God, therefore they are singing song for the God. Are you understanding? During worship, when man began to cultivate soil, so when man started okay growing crops, they started worshiping the soil. The soil is our mother earth, isn't that so? The soil is our mother earth. Okay, so therefore the soil is called the mother. That 
Therefore, the soil is called the mother by the farmer. Are you understanding? <coughs> because it was considered a life giver. Like the mother gives you life, like the soil also gives you life. Because if there was no soil, do you think you will have food? Are you understanding? So, soil becomes our mother. Are you understanding? Because it is a life giver. It is a, okay, L-I-F-E, life, G-I, okay, G-I-V-E-R, giver, okay? It is a life giver. Are you understanding? The Neolithic man believed, also believed in life after death, okay? When a person dies, okay, then where will he go after the death? They used to believe that after death also, okay, they will have another life in which they will wear the things they love the most. Are you understanding? So the things that he loved the most in this life was buried with him. Are you understanding? So the Neolithic man believed in life after death because he thought that the death was a long, long sleep, okay? Or a journey into another world. So the things he loved the most, Okay, so the things that the dead man used to wear, used to play with, used to have, okay, or the clothes he used to wear were buried with him. Are you understanding? So the things he loved the most was buried with him like the food, clothes, even the tools. If he was a farmer, etc., the tools, okay, of digging the earth were buried with him. If he was a, a warrior, okay, then the weapon was buried, buried with him. Are you understanding? Even the toys, even the child dies. So child is fond of toys. Are you understanding? Barbie dolls, etc. Like, likewise, okay. In the olden times, they did not have Barbie dolls. They have mud toys, okay. They were buried with the dead body of that child. Are you understanding? So this proves that they believed in after life. So that they can use these things when they are dead and go to another life. Are you understanding? In the another life, they can use these things that they love the most. Are you understanding? Now, there is a table there at the bottom. The following table lists some major differences between Paleolithic age and Neolithic age, which you can read by yourself. Are you understanding? Now, we are moving on to Chalcolithic age, okay? Chalcolithic age. Now, I'm going to finish this up. C-H-A-L-C-O-L-I-C-H-I-C, Chalcolithic Age. Now, when the Neolithic Age was okay, continuing, another great change happened in the life of man when he discovered the first metal. In the Chalcolithic Age, you find he discovered the first metal because he was actually using the stone to hunt animals, okay, to cut down trees, etc., and to, okay, basically, okay, dig the, uh, dig the soil, etc., he was using stone. There were microliths and macroliths, which was used in the Paleolithic age, as well as in the Neolithic age. But in the Neolithic age, what happened was, there came a Chalcolithic age. In this Chalcolithic age, they discovered a metal. This metal was known as copper. This metal was known as copper, okay? Are you understanding? Copper is a metal. Are you understanding? This was the first metal that was discovered by the man. Okay? Are you understanding? Or a human being. So, it gave birth to the age of metal. So, when he discovered copper, the age of metal started. The age of metals started. So, it is known as the age of metals. It is known as the age of metals. The first metal discovered was cop copper. Copper was the first metal to be discovered by man. When the discovery of copper started, man entered the Chalcolithic age. So, because of the discovery of copper, man moved from the Stone Age to the Chalcolithic age. Are you understanding? Man moved from the Stone Age to the Metal Age. That is known as Chalcolithic age. Are you understanding? The word chalcolithic is made up of two Greek words, okay? Chalco means K-H-A-L, okay? K-O-S. This is a Greek word. Therefore, I am writing in the Greek, okay? This is a Greek word. Chalcos means what? Means copper. Lithic means lithos. 
Lithic in Greek word means lithos, means stone. So it is known as copper stone age. It is known as copper stone age. What is the another name for chalcolithic age? It is known as copper stone age. Remember that. Okay. Now, this age basically started from 4000 BCE in your book. Okay. You can underline that and ended in 2000 BCE. Okay. So, in this period, man moved from the stone age to the age of metals. In India, chalcolithic tools have been found, okay, from the Gangetic Basin. Now, where, you, where is Gangetic Basin in India? G-A-N-G-E-T-I-C, Gangetic Basin. Now, this Gangetic Basin is the place where you have Ganga and Yamuna River, as well as Brahmaputra River, basically, okay, okay, merging or, okay, touching each other. Are you understanding? intersecting each other. So, Gangetic Basin is also known by another name. It is known as Ganga, yeah, okay, Yamuna, Dob, Reason. Another name for Gangetic Basin is Ganga, Yamuna, Dob, Reason or the Great Indian Plains. It is also called the Great Indian Plains. Are you understanding? And Chota Nagpur Plateau. Now, where do you find the Chota Nagpur Plateau? Okay, Chota Nagpur Plateau is found near the Bihar area. Are you understanding? Chota Nagpur Plateau. Are you understanding? So now we are moving on after the after the Chalcolithic Age. We are moving on to the Bronze Age. Okay, we are moving on to the Bronze Age. B R O N J D bronze age. So the first metal discovered by the man was copper. The second metal that was discovered by, ma by the man will be bronze. Okay, are you understanding? The discovery and use of metals made great contribution to man's life. Metals were more durable. So metals were more okay. What we call stronger than the stones. Are you understanding? Stronger than the stones and lasted much better than the stones. So metals were more durable than stones and a number of tools, tools means instruments, okay, like weapons, knives, etc. Even, okay, uh, even like uh, what we call sickle, etc., which was made of stone that was replaced by metal sickle, okay. Weapons and implements could be made using various metals that was discovered. Copper was used for making tools, but gradually when man learned to mix copper with tin, now listen to me carefully, look at the board, okay? Now, when man learned to mix copper with tin, the second metal that was discovered was tin, the first metal was discovered was copper, okay? So remember here, the first metal discovered was copper. Then when you mix copper with tin, you get what? Bronze. You get what? Bronze. Are you understanding? So, when man learned to mix copper with tin or zinc, it is also called zinc, Z-I-N-C, zinc, okay, tin or zinc, it gave them bronze, are you understanding? So the second metal discovered was tin, the third metal is bronze, are you understanding? But in your book, it is only written bronze, are you understanding? So, he entered the Bronze Age, okay? So, Bronze Age basically started from 3000 BC, okay, to 2000 BCE. Now, BCE, last time I told you, it is known as Before Common Era, and it is also known as BC, before Christ. Are you understanding? Bronze is harder than copper. So, this metal called Bronze is harder than copper. It's harder than tin. It's harder than the stone. Are you understanding? So they started using the bronze metal. Are you understanding? So bronze is harder than copper and useful, useful for making stronger tools and weapons. The bronze age is believed to have started in present day Turkey. So according to your book, okay? The bronze age basically started in Turkey, T-U-R-K-E-Y, Turkey, the present day Turkey. This is the place called Turkey. Are you understanding? And it started in Iran and Iraq. 
So Bronze Age basically started in Turkey, Iran, and Iraq. Iraq. Because of the importance of bronze in the growth of the first civilization. So as you can see, in the book also it is written there, okay? Because of the use of bronze, okay, by the people, okay, there basically grew a civilization. This civilization, the first civilization that was found in India, in our India, that is known as Indus Valley Civilization. It is known as what? Indus Valley Civilization. I and D U S Indus Valley Civilization. Okay. And this Indus Valley Civilization is a Bronze Civilization. It's a Bronze Age Civilization. Why it is a Bronze Age Civilization? Because they use the bronze metal, not the copper metal. Are you understanding? So it is also known by another name, this Indus Valley. It is known as H A R A Harappans. Okay. It is also known as Harappans. Har Harappan Civilization. It is also known as Harappan Civilization. Remember that. The second civilization, okay, that we come to know is of Mesopotamian civilization that is also called the Bronze Age civilization. The third is the Chinese civilization which basically grew in China that is known as the Chinese civilization that is also the Bronze Age civilization. The fourth civilization is the Egyptian civilization. Are you understanding? That also is a Bronze Age civilization because why? They were using bronze as a metal to make tools, weapons, knives, etc. Are you understanding? In India, <coughs> bronze tools have been found at Navadatoli on the banks of the river Narvada and Brahmagiri near Mysore. So it is found near the Narvada river which is near Gujarat also. So you can see bronze tools have been found of the old people who used to live in that particular place have been found by the archaeologists. And uh, when, they, uh, when the archaeologists found these tools, okay, historians write, okay, about their history in the history books. Are you understanding? With this, I have finished this chapter, okay. Hope you find this lesson useful. Thank you for listening.